Hello everyone, my name is Nayan Kimiri and today I am going to tell you about Motiram Hatta. This article is written by Harish Chandralal Singh. Motiram Bhatta was a very learned, creative and enterprising person. He was a poet, critic and researcher. The most outstanding contribution of Motiram was his exposure of the poetic genius of Panubhakta Acharya by publishing his work Ramayan from Benares in 1887. It was a wrong analysis of contribution to say that he was known simply for exposing Panubhakta and his work. He was a creative force who introduced the romantic tradition in Nepali culture. He was the one of the founding fathers of Nepali literature. Motiram Bhatta was born at Bhosikotol in Kathmandu on the day of Hindu festival Krishna Janmashtami. In 1866, he went to Benares in 1881 with his mother to get education. There, he received education in Sanskrit. He learned Persian, English, and Bengali languages. He passed the entrance examination from the Kolkata University. Due to the contact with the writers of Benares and his habit of free thinking, Motiram was inclined to nationalism. He wanted to expose the pride and glory of Nepali. This led him to introduce new trends in Nepali literature. The publication of Ramayan of Panubhakta Acharya, the writing of his biography, the composition of romantic and humorous songs, and his critical approach to Nepali literature were an outcome of innovative mind. He introduced an exalted theme in his poetry. This was quite a revolutionary shift in the Nepali literary system, which was dominated by the devotional theme. In Benares, he founded the Parat Jeevan Press in collaboration with Ram Krishna Verma. It might probably be from this press that he brought out a journal named Gorkha Bharat Jeevan with Ram Krishna Verma as his partner. In Kathmandu, he established Modi Mandali at Tamil and a debating club for providing a platform of discussion about literary activities. Motiram was not financially well equipped, but he had the wish to get literary works published. Most of the works he created were not published during his lifetime, as such several works of him might might even have disappeared, but whatever he did was done to please the readers. Readers were the sources of his inspiration for him, and the mission of his work was to develop Nepali literature. In a poem called Vigyapana, advertisement, he wrote, All I say is that I am Motiram. Please look at me with kindness, taking me as a friend. I have heard that people appreciate the thing that is valuable. I simply put forth in my feeling before all the good people. Nardev Pandey, 1872 to 1947, who was a bosom friend and relative of Motiram, wrote a biography of Motiram Bhatta giving the details of his life and the works he had done. Motiram's literary masterpieces include Panu Bhakta Jeevan Chitra, 1881, and Pankaka Pandama. 1891, etc. Motiram was a self-respecting man. He did not write to please the Rana rulers. He did not dedicate his book to them, as was the practice then. In course to his establishment for the press, he suffered a lot. He was compelled to move his press to various places. Despite many difficulties, he stuck to his stand. The last days of Motiram was not a happy one. He was sick and he returned from Benares to lie down his life in the motherland in the age of 31. Thank you.